to add one in I'd like it if this was the grand finals. I see Honestly, the fifth I would. And I see the Smashville pick, so I'm thinking we're going straight into this. Double ninjas versus double plumbers. And uh, I study immediately with the back attack of his own teammate. Okay, and immediately red team gets separated. 26% on each of them, actually. But, uh, she's finally taking the percent. I study him completely clean. This is what happens when he plays. I study him choosing there to continue the combo on Griffith rather than save his teammate from the up tilt strings. Damage is damage, man. Damage makes the world go round. He's like, nah, man, it's cool. I know you got this. You probably got this. If you don't, you're fine. Doesn't matter what team they play, what throws they use, they will find that Sheik up smash. So Griffin's actually died really early there, honestly. Blue team have just found their positioning and uh, the Plumbers, sadly, as good as they are, what can they do against throw combos that uh, always end in disaster? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering why they switched, because the Bayonetta and Mario pick was working really, really well. Maybe it's because they have a set to throw away? Um, yeah, I guess they're just trying things. Like, we're in grads, they're on the winner's side. Like, they can always go back to what was tried and true before. Yeah. I guess maybe it was also in case uh, I study decided to stick with Cloud, see if they could do uh, that, just the anti-Cloud games. Because we saw that happen with... Um, who was it? Nairo and someone else against uh, Ally and Anti, where they just spam Cape and Blood, and they just made um, sure what I'm not 100% sure in doubles, but I do know that uh, recently at SmashCon, we had Void versus Fatality, and uh, oh, I never was... thought I'd see a game one end like that. Mario Man, not top five. Are we going to have the up B ladders? And they have a full stop lead, but Mario puts in work at the low percent, so they could easily lose the freshness of these stocks. And they could go in red team's favor, especially with both characters being able to perform up airs into up airs. And beautiful F smash. Super Mario coming through. Oh, and unfortunate, he up smash sweet spots his own teammate. And we've got jab resets coming through. <laughs> I had no idea. Red team's momentum, they're not letting it swing now. Yeah, this is, you know, we were questioning it, but it looks like, you know, one mistake and they've already brought this all the way in their favor and now they're both at low percent. So this is where Mario- oh, and the Shuriken. Reverse Mario Sunshine, getting bodied by water. Who this is? Good up okay. there. So, this is actually now easily in Blue Team's favor. If you look at the stocks and take into effect that Griffith has 134% to the 53 and 27 that the Blue Team members have. I hate when that happens. That was when you think you're winning and then suddenly you lose one stock and now it's like, oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you should never. And there it goes. And this there is he goes. In Blue Team's favor. Yeah, you should absolutely never in doubles think that you're winning. Um, it's, it's a fast way to, uh, I don't Even know, maybe get... Stop, yeah, never may assume you're winning. You could, you could it, it, can, it can always change. Your teammate could end up killing you, as we've seen in this set. Well, who knows? They could just turn it into a free roll. Could that be out of it? And no punish, actually. Deciding to respect the option, you know, to keep Shido... Uh, Cheeto and Greg are both alive. So I feel like we're going to be mostly seeing Ice studying for the rest of this fight, because... Oh, oh it's actually saving him yeah, there the with the momentum cancel. Yeah. But Only to toy with him for longer. Poor Shido there. So Mario, Mario, showing that it could have been something great, but uh, just fell a tad short. I think Tabernetta will return. Battle. Well, choosing to prove the commentators wrong. I think they're just listening to what we're saying, so like, not doing that anymore. So, like, oh, we're gonna have Greg's in the back, probably have I step. Nope, Greg's gonna be taking that start. So, I think 
Uh, that was uh, Greg's and I studying one yes. that one. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the Mario's are going to be looking for a different stage. Possibly something with a consistent platform. Yeah, here we go, Dreamland. Yeah, yeah, looking to get kills off the top nice and early, probably up smash. Now, I want to see Wispy take a couple of stocks here. Because uh, he does it to me. <laughs> Even if it's not directly, you always end up in someone's move. It's great when Wispy like, assists a combo. That's going to be something someone's going to start labbing out. Wispy specific combos. Wispy specific combos. I want to see it. YouTube, are you watching? Like, you've seen, you've seen Lloyd and Mr. R do the, the Smashville combos using the moving platform. I want to see Wispy labbed out. Preferably with a character I <laughs> Grapple there, but nothing to follow up there. Mario's actually got really, really good jab reset options, especially off the grapple. Absolutely. Because he's one of those characters that you just don't want to, to grab you, and he's after that. So if he just happens to decide, I'm going to jump Nair for like the first time in the set, and you're at the percent that I land in front of you, and I've got jab, it's it's free. Uh, with customs, um, back in the... like. 2015 Evo days. I found with Doctor Nair into uh, the fast pill. If you're not ready for the tech, you can use it over and over again. Oh my. And customs, what dark days they were for the UK scene, where we were all just trying to get used to the meta on its own without the customs. Ah custom oh man, custom villager. I, I don't know, like. Custom Sonic was just too fun. <laughs> I feel like they should have changed his uh, wind music to can't touch this. So, um, we have Shido once again stop tanking, almost at 160. And, like, Griffith isn't too far behind him. He's on a fresh 32%, so the fact that he's lost his stock doesn't mean too much at the moment. Shido's just doing everything in his power to not get grabbed Good so that he can't go for that up smash combo. I mean, he's probably too late in percent for it to work now, but. Yeah, uh, you just gotta get as much percent as he can because I'm very surprised oh okay he retained his good jump. good saving of the jump there <laughs> and unfortunate there is the up throw Griffin's going for the hell Mary just completely disregarding all safety going for the dunk misses it but and both players they get back But with the exception of Shido, all the players looking just a tad unhealthy and the Greninja Vine combo gets interrupted. It did look like he was actually going to miss it uh, regardless of the interruption. And Griffith option. just throws it out there. Shido then throws his out there and it's just a double up smash kill there. So like, this, this pick is still working. Like, they did lose the first game, but it was relatively close for a long time, and currently they have the lead, albeit with both players at mid to high percent. Yeah, it's, it's the introduction of platforms just really coming through for the, for the Mario Bros here. Yeah, because they can just extend those combos a little bit longer. And that was a beautiful... Little bit more. Oh my what goodness, Shido! Stop this man! You know, I feel like Shido should be wearing the Super Mario colors, because this man is going in. And nice conversion there by studying. Interesting. But do not count this man out. He has the footstool combos. But he has the Greninja shenanigans. The problem, that is the one problem with Greninja though. Those combos are lengthy and take time to set up. Absolutely. He doesn't have time for that in doubles. But if he does it off stage, we've seen overextended by this team a couple of times, but there is the up smash, you're gonna seal it. Alright, so they tie it up at 1-1. Oh, so it's entirely possible that we'll be going to a flat stage. Like, I know a lot of people probably aren't super fans of Mario with his uh, up air strings and uh, various shenanigans, but uh, anything that involves the Kobe Bryant in a combo and then an up smash read, it just, oh, it looks so sick. I just want to see more people drop Mario for Doc. I, I totally agree, because that frame 3 up B, man, people don't understand the meta yet. It's just saddening to see, it's like, you have this PhD and nobody picks you. <laughs> 
the PhD in prescribing pain. <laughs> All right, so we're going into game three, and we're going to Sheepville. Okay, so uh, the salty run back. You know, I think honestly this is a good pick because it's mostly a flat stage, but she can benefit from the stretcher. And now we've they've already immediately got the lead. It's sixty-seven point around thirty. Sadly, Sheik's forward tilt. I don't think there's many characters. Oh, but the fair. Good Seems save. Recovery. Oh, wow. No. Uh, he could have got back there, but uh, it's just unfortunate. It's always the saddest thing. But you know you could have gotten back, but you just dangle in the face. Uh, it's, it's our boy Roy. He's uh, one of those victims that's just like, I can hang on backwards, but if I'm facing backwards, it's just, it's so difficult. Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, an almost even game here. Blue team winning in the percent here. Yeah, I think the, the switch is still working for them at the moment. Nothing too crazy has happened. And these nares breaking up the combos before they can really get anything. Although it is uh, causing a little bit of friendly fire, but I guess in the long run, probably just worth it. Because it's spreading the <laughs> Kobe being his own teammate. Now, tap on the head to remind you to like, get in the game. I would like to see, in the event that it's looking like a dangerous combo going on, Mario does have, maybe not as good an up B as Docs, but it's still there as a combo breaker. Why is it not saying actually probably the better, but it's the more consistent of the two. Like, Docs has raw damage, but the sour spot is not that great. Almost a brilliant read on the roll. But uh, Greg's actually made, able to just get behind Mario to avoid taking an early loss of the course. Never mind, he's at 11 percent. Sadly, Gimping Sheik is not an easy task. No. Although, the cape. If you can get that cape before she picks a direction with that vanish. Oh, and, and the, the up smash. smash, the meaty up smash. Griffith looking like ally. And the back air strings. <laughs> Good matchup. There's Shido. Just hanging on, clinging on for dear life once again. Will he get an early rage kill? Because once he loses the stock, they're going to be looking even, and it will. I'd still say uh, still in the red team favor. But oh, and there it goes. There it goes. So now you've got one player that's not looking so healthy versus the two on the blue team. Again, this will probably come down to whoever loses the stock first. So if they can focus down Griffith right now, then they can take the lead. But uh, and there, there he is. goes. Never underestimate the height that Greninja can jump. Yeah, he's he's a frog after all. The, uh, second highest jumper in the game. Besides, like, Minato, not including Minato, Arch Schultz, second highest jumper in the game. And uh, only losing to Falco. Brilliant dunk. And Sheik going to be fighting both the Marios. This and the, and is we're going to have the rough. combo video coming through. They're looking for that air dodge, getting that done. <laughs> uh, do you think Griffith wants the forward air? I'm not 100% sure. Yes, I'm Smash gonna take possible. it though. Right, so they take the lead 2-1. I can't believe we were questioning this double Mario pick of the game. As I said, double Mario is, is top tier, man. Top tier, I'd say like, in t terms of like double characters, besides Cloud, probably one of the best in the game. Like, double Cloud is ridiculous. Double Mario, I think, it doesn't have that clutch factor that Double Cloud does, but it's more it's a more well rounded, consistent team. He's just he's just the interrupter. Yeah. And he does not struggle for kills what at all. Double Luigi, like? double Luigi would be Gimp City. Yeah. Where are we going? I didn't see. Okay, back to Smash. So blue team clearly not too uncomfortable with that. It was a close game. Yeah, it was a close game. It's just that uh, those dunks uh, put in work. I like that um, I started using the more defensive option, going uh, to retreat, gain the stage rather than committing to a full line combo. 
because he's aware that it's going to get interrupted. Unless he has just the perfect timing or a slight overextension from the other Mario, he's not going to be getting that full combo. Oh, Woo! and that was a beautiful team dunk. It's such a shame that he made it back. Well, Greninja does have a really solid recovery. And it's not like Pikachu where you have to pick two directions. He can go double up. Yeah, absolutely. Which honestly makes up for the lack of hitbox on it. And a good forward air takes them both over to the other side of the stage. Does Griffith have and a jump? And Shino going to take away Griggs' stop. He used his jump to get back. Sorry, I studying. My mistake. Oh, and of course, uh, I study has the Shadow Sneak to get out of multi-hit moves. So it could be something like uh, if the up B is connecting and he could SDI away and get that side B, he should be able to get out of those so they won't get him as early. It's kind of interesting. We haven't seen, like, we haven't seen Gregs do throws into our study at all. It's really been just the Greninja into Sheep rather than Sheep to Greninja. There goes the up smash. These she stocks are gonna looking live. so even. And the net able to beat out the up smash before it can come down. And, and there goes Shido. No. Ooh. That's Griffith's second stop. That is. Shido still. And Grex loses his first stock, so it's just Shido on his first stock, and he has. Commentator's curse. Ooh, gotta stop doing it. <laughs> But Shido proving to us that it doesn't matter if you're average weight, you can stop tank. That's a good point. Like, Mario's probably the heaviest character on the screen. Yeah, the ninja's sadly not going to take a massive beating before things start getting dangerous. Well, ideally they shouldn't be caught if they're doing their job on that. But you sadly... Against our props, you know? Although this is looking to go into Red Team's favor as it stands because I said he is at 141 unless he does get a rage kill option like a back air forward air. Uh, he's probably going to be looking at his last stop with a healthy leader on Red Team. Honestly, they're not changing the way they play. They're not having him play more defensively. I guess they're just going for the more aggressive route. Probably trying to get uh, the kill before the rage expire, which unfortunately... I have, I have noticed Red Team is just playing the aggressive game here, you know. Mario's up smash. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Mario Mario showing... Uh, Unfortunately, not going to kill. He's not. 150. Yeah, I guess it's probably just because I started out a fresh start. A little bit more rage on that. He probably would be able to finish that out nicely. Shido literally just playing the weight and shield game, and it's working out amazingly as the stock tank. But sadly, but, yeah. that is going to be a beautiful conversion. But they did manage to get a little bit of mileage. So, like, both of the less healthy players are in kill percent, but they also managed to build 50% on Isodian, who was likely going to be the front runner, and now the only rem remaining party. If he loses this stock, that is our double tournament over. Isodian looking to take out Griffith here. Yeah, he, he kind of has to. He just needs to make sure he doesn't tunnel vision too hard because. Shido will run it with the. The safe up smash, grab, the, grab. the safe up smash. He'll just wait it. until commitment's been made. It's not just one Mario that you're looking out for. There are two Marios on the screen, and both of them can give you a bad time. But Griffith also, knowing that I studying, will be wanting his stock and should probably take it a bit more easy because that that's two fairs. Oh, oh. Man, here we go. One he v jumped one. into the blaster. Doubles grand finals. Singles, one stock situation. I can see him bringing this back. I study the beast. And the up smash, he's bringing this back real quick. And he's already taken the lead. He's, uh, did he lose take, his jump? 
He did not, and the up B comes out. Taking advantage right now of uh, Shido's shield drop habits. He is going to have to watch his jumps, though, because if he jumps too close to Mario, that is going to be an up smash. Ah, and and again, odds. beautiful. And we're going game five. We are going game five. Will we have a bracket reset? Do we want a bracket reset? My throat does not want a bracket reset, <laughs> but I want a bracket reset. Ah, yeah, I know your pain. But, um... I can see it happening though. I don't know. Do you think they're going to switch? Do they really want to close it out? Or do they think that the Marios will be enough? Well, it's possible they that think the Marios will be too much Mario that they could be a little cold on the other characters. I'm yeah. just kind of concerned that it, we may get that bracket reset because they did just drop a 2v1 against I Studio. And if going into game five, admittedly they are taking a break right now just to get themselves collected, but if they went into that too fast, they could be looking at getting snowballed off of that last boss. Eye studying, showing that, you know, good spacing with the forward air, choosing your target, but not committing too hard, and then that's it, Shido playing support there, had to go in against Eye studying, and unfortunately, Three, two, losing the 1v1, but here we go, town and city, new stage. How are we going to do? Right, game five. Low ceiling and uh, moving platforms. I can see it working quite well, honestly, for either side. Oh, uh, they're playing two 1v1s here, which actually does mean that, theoretically, uh, we can see the full potential of Greninja doing his long, complicated combos if uh, Alan Griffin or Shido is isolated by Greggs. Here we go. They've just started with their... Uh... Oh yeah, I have a partner. Griffin actually sitting real nice on 46 while everyone else is in... I am honestly surprised there. Shido lived that, that side, like, on Town and City. Yeah, you say low ceiling, but you kind of got to remember, it's not like Alba Delfino level low. It's not going to kill you at like 30% or something ridiculous, but you just got to watch out for it. You're not going to live as long as you would on some battle. Although I'd say if, if he gets hit by the same move at the same height again, he's done to it. Right, so who will draw first blood in our final set? It's Ice Studying. Ice Studying will get the fair on Shido again. So it looks like Griffin's gonna be their stop time. Good roll on from Greggs, managing to get himself to the other side of the stage, just build a little bit of time. I like this tactic by Blue Team. It's, it's a good idea to try and separate because the Marios, they're great, but if they can't get the dunk, if they can't get the read, and if the up smash, you know, gets power shielded, it's, it's a bad time for them. Yeah, but when the other Mario's there, there's the up smash. There's the up smash. And that net almost killed. But hit and run, as you'd expect ninjas to do, seems to be handling this matchup quite nicely. Yeah, well, they're, they're definitely playing to their character strengths. Like Greninja isn't as strong in teams because of how long his like high damage combos take to do. Whereas Sheik and Mario are good anywhere. By allowing Gregs to put up a wall, even by getting thrown there, that water blade just coming straight in and taking a nice off. And uh, we have blue team in the lead here. I studying doing a good job of stock tanking. Gregs really is the unsung hero of this set. Absolutely, his up smash conversions out of team combos has been so on point. Yeah, because you got to remember that the throw can come whenever. The throw is the easy part. It's making sure that you get that tip of up smash hitbox on point. And there it is. I'm looking at a bracket reset there. That was a beautiful team combo there. And they're still keeping him off stage, which allows I studying now to focus down Shido, who has the low HP. But a good footstool manages to get him out of getting him. And the up smash. The up smash. Ah, yeah. Well, it's, tried, it's tried and true with Mario. And it was pretty safe because Greninja's up being, despite the water pushing straight down, it launches you into the sky. But we, ha we see a change of pace here from Red Team with Griffith actually being the stock tank this time round. Yeah, 
They've really been alternating quite well. Like, one time they're just going all in aggression, and then after that it's slightly more controlled, paying attention to the fact that they are the source of stocks. That was a good down smash there to break up the uh, Although team this set, combo. we haven't seen any chair stocks at all. In the first set, we saw one uh, from Blue Team, but everyone has been in such close range of stocks. We've been going down to final stock and everything there. We haven't really seen any opportunity for a chair stock. Just to make it back through the barrage of down smashes. So I think this is going to be another one where it's whoever loses the stock first will probably be looking at taking uh, the loss, which could mean a reset. It could mean that. Ooh. And a stray up smash finds its mark. Will we see the chest stock? There we is do. the chest stock. Alright. 94, honestly, I can see it working. And. We're down to our final stocks, and Shido is on a really unhealthy 142. And, and the that down will be his stock. It. So we've got a two versus one. Now and Griffith will be looking to get the duck. He'll be looking to take out <laughs> Drex in the least fair, most grimy manner possible. But now, I still think he's still going in. Like you can see him, he's still dashing forward. He's not just leaving Greg to do his own thing, which is definitely the safest option. It's uh, it's a tough time because. You Sadly. want to go and help, but you also want to not get up smashed. That's exactly what Griffith needed. It is. But, but now, how is his uh, how sheep matchup? Because Greg has a real good sheep. And, and that was a beautiful up smash there. Greg's. But it is going to be slightly stale, uh, stale now for the next time he goes to use it. Probably won't make too much of a difference because they went to town and city. There's just one thing to watch out for. Every move that you use that could kill doesn't is now a move that you have to think twice about before throwing out. Thankfully, Sheik is one of those characters that it doesn't really matter on because of nine moves, she's probably going to hit you with a good nine before the next up smash anyway. Yeah, especially when Bear does put in so much work. And Needles, each individual shot of Needles counts as its own separate one. So he's already reset two of them. And the soft Nair as well. So... We could be looking at soft nair into a bouncing fish. But once again, Sheik falls into this very dangerous issue, which, which is kill. if she doesn't get the kill, Mario's just going to build up rage and rage. And that up smash is going to kill just a little percent earlier. Good air dodge weight there. Ooh, we're trying to snipe the ledge with the aerial needles. A very interesting option there. And, and there it is, the up smash will end it. Not the option I would have gone for. But we know that's what Griffith was looking for. That's what all Marios are looking for. That's the problem with Sheik. Excellent display there by Red Team, showing that Mario Mario is a top tier team. You can always use it. Double Mario, double clouds. Double free patch Bayonetta. I, I think a team that could end up being ridiculous is Cloud and Lucario, because Lucario in that double situation, with Cloud and the limit, 